Hey, do you live in Portland and are you even thinking about buying a house or know somebody who is? Then this video and this YouTube channel is for you because what you found here is a Portland home tour, what I call my weekly walkthrough where I show you an active listing in Eastside Portland every week. And this one is a real awesome one, so stick around, you gotta see this. This baby here, built in 1913, is three bedroom, one bathroom, over 2,000 square feet with loads of interior charm, on for only $415,000. A pretty darn good price for this home. Let's go check it out. Right off the bat, whole exterior painted in this beautiful, nice light yellow tone, and all of this old original siding looks like it's in really good shape because of that, but as I will always recommend to every buyer, this is something that your professional home inspector is gonna wanna check out and take a good close look at. I also love the original batters that are here that are part of the uh, Portland uh, Craftsman style. Love them. But now here's where the real money is. It is all of this beautiful, uh, natural dark wood, stained wood uh, that hasn't been painted and you see this all throughout the main floor including this gorgeous mantle over top of the red brick fireplace that's an asymmetrical built-in. You've got the cabinets on the one side and the uh, cute little bench on the other. And great big picture window to look out onto this street. The original, old original glass but all of the windows in this house, uh, certainly on the main floor, all have the extra, and it looks like relatively newer storm windows on the outside, helping for this home to have a really great home energy score. Underfoot, the original fur floors that have been recently refinished. They are gorgeous and they feel great under feet. Coming off of the living room into the house, we've got the uh, formal dining room right in the center. We've got all the bedrooms over this way in the bathroom. Uh, living room to the front and then kitchen back here. I think it's a really great layout to the house. Everything's separated just so but still has a really nice flow to it. Also high ceilings all throughout the main with the original plaster ceilings. Let's check out the bedrooms super quick. The fur floors continue through here in the bedrooms which I think is a good idea just to lighten it up. They've got the white painted uh, window casing and uh, the old double hang windows that look like they're still in really good shape uh, with the storm windows on the outside. And each of the two bedrooms on the main floor has a closet with the original window. Super cute. Coming back into the hallway, we've got the main floor bathroom. It is the only bathroom in the house, but there does look like there's room to add one into the basement. But this one certainly is fantastic. It's one of the more updated rooms in the house with its tile floors, the new vanity, and the beautiful white subway tile all around the bathtub. And some new hardware there as well. Keep it a nice, light, and crisp. High ceilings too. I like this bathroom. We can skip over the other bedroom because it's a perfect mirror of the first one, but let's jump upstairs real quick. Up here, this has been an area that is completely refinished. I, I'm not sure what it was before. It could have been just a totally open attic, but this is a classic way of finishing off these craftsman attics. Just to give you an idea of size, I'm six feet tall and I'm not feeling claustrophobic in this at all. These ceiling, uh, ceilings are great. So all carpet through here might be a great you know, family room area or office area. And then this can come into what could very well be the master bedroom, looking out over top of the street down below. Love it. Good head height, great new carpet, all fresh paint, freshly uh, converted space up here. Let's see the kitchen. So now into the kitchen. Here's another place where they've combined the old and the new in just a really tasteful way. We've got older cabinets. I don't think they're the originals, but they are certainly older wood uh, stained cabinets that look like they're in great shape. And then to update them, they've added in the new stainless steel appliances with fume hood and then the butcher block countertop with stainless steel sink and new hardware. And then on the backsplash and the backsplash over here, subway tiles on the walls. Looks great. Once again, high ceilings in this area. You've also got a door going out to the back of the house. Did I mention this is on a corner? We'll see that when we get outside. But I love this little space because you 
you got a classic mudroom. You can come in from the outside, from the backyard, wet feet, kick off the boots here before coming into the house. And I like the natural wood wainscoting down below. All right, let's check out the uh, basement before we head outside. Down here, we've got another separate entrance to the basement from the outside. And then just a few more steps down, and you're into what is a very classic basement for these 1913 and uh, early 1900 craftsmen with the painted concrete floor, uh, the exposed concrete foundation around that has been painted at one time and could certainly be uh, repainted again. And then your utility sink, washer and dryer hookups, and then in the very center of it, the uh, hot water tank and the furnace, the other side with lots of room for storage and a workbench area. All right, let's check the backyard. So now it's not a great big chunk of backyard, but it's actually quite a bit of space because as you'll see on the north side of the house here, you've got quite a bit of room of the yard running right down and it's all fenced in and you've got that nice separation of the house to the lot next door. You're not right up against it. And then on this side of the garage on what would be the east side, still quite a bit of room. And so if you have got dogs or larger dogs and they need a backyard and certainly kids, lots of room to run around back here. All right, let's check out the side of the house. As we come, as we pass by, you can see that we're on a very quiet street and it's a corner. Lots of room for off-street parking right here. And then what we've got here is the original 1913, I'm going to guess original uh, carriage house, garage shed. May have been a horse stable at one time. Now it looks like it's used for excellent uh, lawn equipment storage space. And for all your toys, all your outdoor toys. And then this so charming, I, this is probably my favorite part of the outside. Uh, it's the side yard. Here we can see the windows to the kitchen and the dining room, and we're getting this lovely shade from these very mature walnut trees. Just gorgeous walnut trees, giving just this net right amount of shade. It helps keep the grass green in this area and gives you an opportunity to have a really pleasant little garden along the side of the house. It is very peaceful right here. Um, I can just, uh, you know, the, the fence, the short fence, looking out onto the quiet street, great place to have some lawn chairs in the evening. And then a final little note, I love the medallion right on the side of the brickwork from the fireplace and the chimney. Just the last thing I want to point out about this great house, 1406 Northeast 76, is that it got a 5 out of 10 on its home energy score. Now, for most tests, 50% would not sound great, but for a house that is 1913, 5 out of 10 is actually really good and shows that a bunch of upgrades have been put in place to make this home more energy efficient. So this house, absolutely worth a look. If you want to see it, you don't have to just see it in this video. Call, email, or text me, and I will get you in this house right away, and we will take a look at it, and if you like, it. We will write that offer as fast as you would like. I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor helping buyers across Eastside Portland working hard for your success.